Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Welcome back to your weekly trip into tomorrow. I'm Chris Graveline. Dave is on the road this week in Belek, Turkey, hosting the global press event for IFA, the big consumer tech show that we broadcast from every September in Berlin. Stay tuned to our radio show and learn about some of the things that will be shown off at this year's event. And of course, stay tuned in September as we bring you two weeks worth of radio shows and many video highlights and interviews. Get more info on our site at intotomorrow.com. I want to remind you that our prize closet team is anxious to send you goodies, and all you have to do is participate on our national radio program. Call us anytime with any tech-related question. Maybe you have a tip that might help someone else in our audience. Maybe you have some tech rage to share with us about some tech that just didn't do what it was supposed to do. Call us anytime at 1-800-899-INTO. That's 1-800-899-4686. Our Ask Dave hotline is open 24-7. And don't forget that you can use our free Into Tomorrow apps for your mobile device to send us an audio question. It's easy and rewarding. Let's take a look back at some of the milestones in the tech world with This Week in Tech History. In 1880 this week, Francis Clark and M.G. Foster patented the electrical hearing aid. In 1896, the addressograph labeling system was patented by Joseph Smith Duncan of Sioux City, Iowa. In 1960 this week, the submarine Tullaby was launched from Groton, Connecticut. It was the first sub to be equipped with closed-circuit television. This week in 1981, the first integrated mouse intended for use with a personal computer made its appearance with the Xerox Star Workstation. And this week in 2005, the super jumbo jet Airbus A380 made its first flight in Toulouse, France. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA Berlin the global innovation show for consumer electronics and home appliances. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. If you don't yet subscribe to our weekly tech newsletter, you should. Each week we bring you interesting tech news stories, links to our show pages, our guests' websites, and more. We even include some hmm thoughts to make you smile. It's free. All you have to do is stop by our main page at intotomorrow.com and enter your email address only in that red box. You'll get an email to make sure that you want to receive it. Click that confirmation link and voila, you'll have Into Tomorrow in your inbox once a week. And we promise to never share your email address with anyone. So you got that new cell phone you've been wanting. What do you do with your old one? If you're like me, you don't want to just toss them in the garbage. In fact, most people don't know that in most areas, it's actually illegal to throw away a cell phone and any other electronics for that matter. That's because the components inside can be considered hazardous and they don't want them breaking down and seeping into the groundwater. You could recycle them, which is a great idea for any used device. Or, if it's worth something, why not make a few bucks? There are many sites out there that will buy your old electronics from you. In fact, I found a site, usell.com, that'll show you a list of companies and how much they will offer you for your old device. You can sell phones, Apple computers, tablets, iPods, and even game consoles. I'm going to focus on one particular site that I've used several times, gazelle.com. Erasmo, our audio engineer, first told me about Gazelle last year. I was upgrading to the iPhone 5 and didn't know what to do with my old iPhone 4. I checked into a trade-in with my carrier, but they only offered me a credit for the phone that they said I could only use in their retail store. So I checked out Gazelle. Here's how it works. Once you're on their site, you select what device you have. I'm going to use the iPhone as an example. You then select your carrier, the storage capacity, and the condition that your phone is in. If your phone is able to be unlocked, they will show you a separate offer and even tell you how to get your phone unlocked. Once you accept their offer and enter the requested information, they'll mail you an empty box. You just put your phone into the box, seal it with the included tape, stick the prepaid label on it, and send it back to them. Within a few days, you'll get an email from them stating that they received your phone and whether everything was in the condition that you described. If so, your payment will be on its way. They do offer a few options when it comes to payment. You could request an electronic gift card for Amazon.com for the value of your device. They can transfer the money to your PayPal account if you have one. Or they can mail you a check. Or, if you're in the giving mood, they have a list of charities that you can choose from to have the value of your device sent to as a donation. All in all, I was impressed with the whole Gazelle process. It was easy and I got paid quickly. I have now sold three phones to them and made about 400 bucks. Like I said, there are many sites out there that offer the same kind of service, but this is the one that I've used and can attest to. Check out one of these services the next time you upgrade. Even if you just donate the value to charity, it's better than these devices ending up in landfills where they can potentially cause damage to the environment. What do you think about selling your old devices? Is it worth the extra work? Let us know what you think. 
Call our Ask Dave hotline and we'll get your comments on the air and send you a prize. That wraps it up for this week's ITTV update. Don't forget to tune into our three-hour radio show and visit our site at intotomorrow.com where you can subscribe to our free podcast so you never miss a show. I'm Chris Graveline. We'll see you right here next week. Welcome back to you. We'll leave you tomorrow. I'm Chris Graveline. The prompter was going too fast. I, I know. <laughs> no, I was telling the people at home. <laughs>